I was asked to comment on a study by uh, Lee et al. from MD Anderson using a pancreatic cancer case control study looking at risk uh, factors of obesity and being overweight for not only increasing risk for pancreatic cancer but developing at an earlier age and then having worsened survival once you're diagnosed. Well, what was interesting is the authors found that uh, being overweight or being obese uh, really had a, a true relationship with increasing risk for pancreatic cancer, um, but also increased risk for developing at a younger and younger age, depending on how high your body mass index goes, and then also did associate with survival differences in pancreatic cancer. So really, it seems that being o obese or overweight really accelerates the course of pancreatic cancer from developing it all the way through to um, effects on survival. This was an observational study that was designed as a case control study, so it wasn't a prospective clinical trial. But it does demonstrate that really the ability to use epidemiology studies, transitioning that to a survival study, and that this is a good example of that. The additional uh, factors that the authors included were, for instance, uh, weight at various times during uh, a person's life, which you wouldn't necessarily collect in a clinical trial. Well, epidemiology really focuses on risk factors for why, why do you get the cancer, what increases your risk for developing cancer. But these same risk factors could also impact survival um, or age of onset once you get the diagnosis. So really, they affect multiple factors. Well, I think uh, there have been a number of studies that have shown that obesity is a risk factor for pancreatic cancer, but none of them have really uh, had a definitive explanation as why. Uh, the hope is that this study will also, along with other work of others, will spur research in trying to understand the mechanism of why obesity and being overweight affects uh, pancreatic cancer risk and, and survival. Whether it's effect on insulin levels or insulin growth factor receptors, we don't know, but those are certainly hypotheses that people are f following up on. Well, I think this adds to the weight of evidence that being obese or overweight uh, has a detrimental effect on your health. Whether this one study will, will uh, uh, change people's behavior is is unclear, but, but certainly it's yet another piece of evidence that uh, maintaining a healthy weight is what's best for your health overall. I think it adds to the uh, counseling repertoire of physicians saying not only your risk for cardiac disease and some cancers, but also once you have cancer, this can affect your, your uh, survival as well.